isn't quite so cool. I think her black eye looks a little hot, though. It either says, <gasps> he's a clumsy idiot and he walked into a door. Find or... that hot, too. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Hello! <laughs> Fuck! Welcome! Hello. Welcome to a story worth telling. Where we review LGBTQ plus representation in media. And today is no different. We're yes. back with Shit's Creek, mm. season three, mm. episode mm. something. And it's all good fun jokes and games and we love it. Um, and we hope you do too, because there's loads of good representation in it as well. True. Like polyamorous relationships. Mm -hmm. We keep dealing with that right now. And Josh still doesn't understand it, but it's well, okay. I think the polys are over now. Oh, they, oh, they are over, yeah. yeah. You kissed them. They get two episodes and, then, and that's it. Yeah. Off you go. If you haven't been here before, make sure to check out all the stuff we do. We have loads of playlists. We review loads of shows, so go check that out. And we've recently released a brand new website as well. <gasps> where we're doing, yes. we're trying to do uh, some different things over there. So go check that out. Yes, so, uh, it's good. Yes. It's all good. Absolutely. All good business. Absolutely right. Well, let's get into some shittery. What are these sad printouts? They're for a proposal I plan on making to the family. I think it's time we invest in a car. I oh, don't really crazy. see myself driving any of these. Now, these are just <laughs> examples. Yeah, I would rather drive a scooter. And I want a car. a car! Does this site have boats? Okay. <laughs> Here's what I put together. Is that a spreadsheet? Yes. Okay, well, I'm going to need the car on Friday night. Absolutely not. I mean that I would get it Saturday. We don't even... They should just get bikes. It's not that big a town. You don't need a car. Where are you going? Here. <laughs> <laughs> they need a bigger house that's what they need i don't think i could live in a motel for this long i would go insane well i mean it's pretty well equipped it's got like a little kitchenette bed it's like living in a studio for like that no but each of us is going to drive this and a car says a lot about a person that's true i wouldn't trust you to buy a car i'd buy the gayest car You'd buy like a Fiat 500. No, an Audi in TT. Pink. Oh, yes, in pink. It's gonna be in pink. It's me. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Audi TT is the gayest car that exists. My dad wanted an Audi TT. Oh, your dad's probably a homosexual. <laughs> but you know, like, I wouldn't get something what like. What makes a gay car? Can we just clarify? It just here, looks gay. Like a non-gay car is like a truck or like a Ford or, you know, something quite, you know. And like a yummy mummy rich honey car is like a Ford, uh, no, a Range Rover, you know, a Range like Rover. a huge number of assumptions and stereotypes here. Yeah. Well, I'm right. I don't think there is <laughs> such thing as a gay car, really. There is a gay car. It's an Audi DD. <laughs> you bought me this dress, David. I know. And it costs twice as much as the car you want to buy. No used car salesman is going to cut you a deal dressed in archival designer silk, blinded by the disenfranchisement. I wouldn't be surprised if they just gave you the car. I feel like he's always eating your yogurt. Mind putting these in Mrs. Hertzman's file? Mm, oh, hello. hello. Who is this cool cat, and what he's did he do stigma, with Ted? Probably. <gasps> he's got pink a eye. Sty, not stigma. And quite someone so cool in his eye. <gasps> <gasps> no, Shit someone punched his eye. Oh, yeah. that's Hannah. No, I'd Paul. actually. You ever had a black eye? I have. How'd you get that? <laughs> Not telling <laughs> Just for the Patreon folks at home. I think her black eye looks a little hot though. It's no. bad boy, innit? It's like, oh. It either says, <gasps> he's a clumsy idiot and he walked into a door. Find or... that hot too. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Really? I just, you know, it shows people's vulnerable sides a little bit of injury, I think. Yeah. Now, let's... Be very clear, if someone looks like they're being abused, that is a whole other story and you should call the police. But a little bit of injury is a little bit of heart. I, you know, I'm going to stop commenting on the shit. It's a bit of light injury. <laughs> it's, a bit of... it's like you see on the Netflix thing. It's like... Sexual <laughs> and light injury. It's like, it's like when we talked about Higgy. It's like, I find it kind of hot. A bit of bruising. No, no, no. But, you know, there is a, there's a fine line between no. hot, sex injury and... Don't do hickeys on people's eyes. <laughs> Did someone die? Or are we going through like a midlife goth phase? Someone died. Okay, I'm just finding the bulbs to make my skin look very jaundicey. Okay, I can't tell if we're still joking or 
not. I'm not. Okay, and now I can't tell whether you're playing into the joke or whether um, you're telling the truth. She was 78. So you're not joking. Girl, read the room. Yes, for everything I've said since coming in here today. Why, you didn't kill her? I take it you weren't very close. I actually really liked her. I am happy to help you in this time of need. Thank you. As much as I appreciate your reluctant offer, <laughs> I don't think you could handle it. This whole thing is super depressing. So I'm just gonna change into my funeral box and um, I'll meet you back here then. He must have an outfit ready for every occasion. Most of his wardrobe is black though. That's true. So I'll just remove any kind of white accents and I think we're there. Hey, you're kind of funeral ready apart from the blazing pink hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like celebration of life morning. You know? That's the kind of morning I want. Yeah. I don't want you to cry. I want you to be like, work, party, get the booze, let's go. He would like it. Let's have an orgy. Okay. On the coffin. Wow. And you're all invited. I have so many questions. That's a story worth living for. <laughs> don't you sully our gorgeous name with your <laughs> filthy funeral. Hey, I'm dying. Be respectful. <laughs> Look, Moira and I are going to a used car lot today, and I, I just need to appear more, um... Official? I need to look like I don't have money. But you don't have any money. Oh, I know I don't have any money, but I need to look like I, I don't have money. What you're saying is you want to dress like me because I look like I don't have any money. I think I misspoke. Well, that's what I heard out of both ears. One of them works pretty well. Found them. They oh, were on top God. of the microwave. Wonderful. Oh, that reminds me. Can you get us some whitener for the coffees? Oh, what have I been using? Huh? No. Oh, I'd be out of there in, in literally. Oh, when you feel confident, <laughs> you've hit the target. What this? is that I wig? I apprentice costume designer under Stan Nicoyer. I'm sure he'd agree this toggery is the perfect tribute to the common woman. <laughs> oh, John, look. <laughs> Hey folks, how we doing today? Oh, excited beyond compare. <laughs> yes. Especially with, with this being our first ever purchase of an automobile. Yes, it's our first. Is that supposed to be British? I'm from London. I was one of two identical twins. I was snatched from my crib at birth by Russian mobsters. Mm -hmm. They looked at my fair skin and my dazzling eyes and I said, we'll make a pretty penny on that one. What about the twin? Who's that love? Well, if you're identical, I thought you'd both be valuable. Yes. Wouldn't you? <laughs> she wasn't born yet. <laughs> no. I'm from London. I think he's buying it. You think? <laughs> no one's going to know that you're having an adventurous little rendezvous with a apple-cheeked farm woman. That's not what happened. See, the sex got a bit kinky. And that's okay. In your dreams. If it's consensual. No, not to leave fucking black eyes. You are full of terrible <laughs> advice this evening. Terrible, <laughs> like god awful advice. <laughs> if you do need help, we do have LGBTQ plus resources. We do, on the website, we do, so we go do. Check those out. Don't yeah. listen to this one. Got <clears throat> headbutted by her goat. Is that when one of you is on the floor? And then the other one kind of just like talks. No, uh, oh my god. Are you sure god. this is the right place? She was very specific <clears throat> about where she wanted to be scattered. Um, so what, do we scatter it no. all or do we save some for later? Later? I don't know. Like, you can't, you can't scatter them in the sea, for example. Well, what if someone asks for it in their will? You can't scatter it in the sea! We used to be people doing that all the time on, like, TV programs and films. Yeah, but I don't think you can just, like, scatter human remains off the coast of a beach, you know? You've got Sandra having a cocktail up there watching you scatter I'd be like, fuck action. off, Sandra. I've got shit to do, shit to scatter. You scatter. Yeah, I, don't, I, think, I think there's probably a grey area there. And it's not the, <laughs> grey is like ash. ashes. <laughs> it's a bit ashy, to be honest. <laughs> Moira. I remember when your twin showed up <laughs> and stabbed Armand with her sharpened crutch. Okay, look, folks, I'm really sorry. But there's no need to be embarrassed. Uh, we read all about what happened <clears throat> to you, losing everything. It's heartbreaking. We didn't lose everything. Well, Sarah, they're just trying to help us out by giving us a better price. Well, nonsense, dear. We can certainly pay full freight. You save that discount for someone who needs it. Ah, oh, Moira. 
<clears throat> She's very prideful, this woman. She is a bit. Or perhaps we might have to take our business to a dealership that sells brand new cars. As you can see, we can't even afford our meds right now. <laughs> I'll get the I feel like that's the excuse you should have to be sometimes. <laughs> we can't afford his meds. She called to ask if you would drop off flea shampoo, and she also asked if you would wash her cat, but I said that you were too busy. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, you know what? I got this. No, it's on my way home, and I rarely offer to do things like this, so. Heather Warner doesn't actually have a cat. <gasps> it's code. They're having sex. It's code <laughs> she needs her cat seeing to it was a booty call I'm going to wash my you said it <laughs> jesus christ i think it's quite charming <laughs> unlike what you just said <laughs> Sorry, could you come wash my cat with some flea you're shampoo? very literal josh that's you wouldn't like, be able to do that let's not get the juices flowing <laughs> what is this that is the deed to the motel. <gasps> Sorry? Oh. Oh, I forgot she owns the, ho the motel the in the motel. end. Hotel. She goes you didn't tell me that. Was she of sound mind? Uh, well, uh, according to her will, she wanted you to have it. Oh, girl. That's nice. Was she of sound mind? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not sure how I feel about that car. See, I feel like that car's a bit homophobic, but... You look like a contestant on The Price is Right. <laughs> well, it worked because The Price was right. Well, what did you pay for it? 6,000 quid, love. Oh, God. Thank you, Moira. <laughs> it would have been a lot less if your mother hadn't talked them back up. You can't put a price on dignity. Uh, tell that to your outfit. <laughs> this is your outfit. <laughs> <laughs> they literally look like they're in the same outfit. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. <laughs> this is your outfit. <laughs> Six thousand quid, love. The love is such a British thing. Love. Love. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching, as usual, on please our like, lovely Shit's Creek please journey. Please subscribe. Yes. Please follow us. Mm -hmm. Do all that good shit. Please. Please, love. Please. please. love. <laughs> See you later, love. Bye, love. <laughs> <laughs>